Remaking Halo Combat Evolved in one day. It was gonna be quite a challenge. To keep myself on track and not lose too much time messing around, I set a goal and made a planning. The goal. For the visuals, I wanted it to look close enough to Halo that it could be mistaken for Halo by the untrained eye. For the gameplay, I wanted the assault rifle to be fully functional, complete with compass, ammo counts and animations. The planning. I find that I lose most of my time in game development, going back and forth between Blender and Godot, tweaking models and assets. To prevent this, I decided I wanted all the assets ready for even starting up Godot. I woke up at 9.30 and got to work. I decided to start off with the easy work, the HUD. I just downloaded a screenshot and extracted all the HUD elements in Paint.net. If you're wondering why I'm using Paint.net instead of better alternatives, it's because Notch uses it. No other reason. The models were up next. This is actually what inspired this project. I found this website called Model Resources. They ripped all the models from Halo and uploaded them online. They only need a little bit of work to work in Godot. So let's download these models, hop on Blender and get them all ready. Most of these models just needed their textures applied, it was very easy. But for the assault rifle, I needed some moving parts. So I extracted the bolts, the safety and the magazine so I could animate them later in Godot. I have a golden rule for game development. If you ever come across or make a character, you gotta drop it into Mixamo. It's so much fun. So Master Chief was no different. I got him some fun animations and exported it. Awesome. Last part of resource gathering was getting the sprites. Assault Rifle came with all its sprites for the display and compass. Quite handy. Uh, I also grabbed my grid texture which I use for every game. I think I got all the resources. If you're noticing I'm missing sound, it's because I completely forgot. I'll add them later. Alright, it's now 12.30 and I'm starting up Godot. A tip for any game developer is to set up a dev stage. Always add something into your project so you're not just staring into the void of an empty editor. It can be very demotivating. I set up this floor, added the Warthog, the Banshee, Master Chief, just to have something to look at. Now it was time to start on the player controller. Like most of my other projects, I stole this player controller from Garbage. I'll link his video in the comments, it's awesome. If you want to see a more detailed explanation of what I'm doing, I plan on uploading a full process video, so stay tuned for that. Alright, player controller working, it's time to drop in the HUD. I decided to do this first to get that Halo feel into the game quickly. With the player controller and HUD working, it was time to add the rifle. This was going to consume most of the day. 
I had to make all the animations myself in Godot, some procedural, some hand animated. The sway and the shooting animation were done in code. Alright, now that I have the animations into the game, it was time to update the display on the rifle and the HUD in the corner. The rifle had material slots for the numbers and the compass, so I just had to swap out the texture with the appropriate one. I also added this impact effect to give the rifle a little more oomph. At this point I realized I forgot sound, so I quickly downloaded the sound pack from Reddit and dropped it in. I had to tweak the reload animation to match the sound, it was quite easy. At this point I was tired, it was 5.30 and I had to stop. I dropped in a demo stage to finish the appeal, and this is what I got. I think I matched the look quite nicely. There's a lot of things I would have loved to add if I had more time, like hands on the rifle, actual enemies to fight, but for the goals I set, matching the aesthetic, having a functional rifle, I think I did okay. If you want to see a more detailed explanation, the full process video is coming soon. I love doing these little projects and I plan on doing more of them. So if you like what you saw and you want to see more, consider a subscription.